Good morning everyone. Today I'm at Mass Audubon Stony Brook in Norfolk, Massachusetts. I'm doing Wildflower 101 episode 28. Today we are looking for purple dead nettle. So it's been drizzling when I drove here so hopefully I can do this without it raining on me. Here is the purple dead nettle. It is unrelated to stinging or dead nettle. Nicknames a red dead nettle, dead nettle, and purple archangel. Purple dead nettle is in the mint family, but it does not smell like mint. It is an annual and herbaceous. It can be confused with henbit and ground ivy. It is considered a weedy plant. The flower color is blue to purple to a reddish pink. It is an irregular flower, meaning it's not radically symmetrical. The petals and petal-like parts are not similar in size, shape, or color. As you can see, this is a very, very tiny flower. It's only one-third to three-quarters of an inch long. It's whorled three to six in the upper leaf axle, and the upper tubulars are two. Purple dead nettle is a winter annual, and it starts blooming in April to June. The leaves are green in purple. They are opposite on the stem. They have a triangle to a heart shape, downward drooping rounded points. They are toothed and lobed and they have fuzzy hairs. They are one to two inches long and they are densely crowded along the stem. The young leaves are tinted purple and as they mature they turn a dull green. Upper leaves are purple and the lower younger leaves are a darker green. Here you can see both the purple and the green leaves. The stems are a square shape and it branches out from the stem. The color is green to a purplish red and they grow eight to 12 inches tall. The roots are a fibrous taproot. The seed is found in a nut-like fruit. The color is light to a dark brown and it reproduces by the seeds. Habitats are meadows, fields, lawns and yards, pastures, waste places, and parking lot edges. Purple dead nettle likes full sun to light shade and moist soil. Purple dead nettle is non-native to New England. It is native to Europe and Asia. It is an invasive plant and it is common in New England. Dead purple nettle is a very important food source early in the spring because it is an early bloomer. It is a great food source for bees and other pollinators with long tongues. Here you can see how tiny the little flower is. And it has some ants crawling on it. They can grow in big colonies. I hope you have a chance to get out and see the purple dead nettle starting in April and it usually blooms into June. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble, always be kind. Thanks for watching, guys. 